guys, this is Jay Rawa, your it guy that fits anything that fit onto you, how big or small, I will fix it up. And welcome back to my channel. In today's video tutorial, we're going to disassemble and assemble this system unit or computer hardware. Ibig sabihin, babaklasin natin yung loob nito na hindi nasisira kasi the system unit is a main part of your computer hardware or a personal desktop. Itong system unit, ito yung nagsisilbing pirahan na mahalagang piyesa ng computer mo. And one of the best skills that you must acquire in learning computer hardware is independently assemble and disassemble your computer hardware. Or simply setting up your personal computer. And maybe someone of you asking why do we need to disassemble a computer hardware, especially the system you need. Disassemble a system unit is one of a good maintaining condition of your computer hardware. Kaya yan ang sabi ko, ang system unit o yung power casing na ito ang nagsisilbing tira na mahalagang piyesa ng yung computer. Kaya kapag ang bahay ay marumi, nililinis natin. Ganun din ang system unit at kapag ang loob ito ay puro ang ikabo, mas mabilis mag-init ang computer mo na maaaring makasira sa mahalagang piyesa na tinutukoy ko. Bakit nangyayari yun? Kasi hindi maayos yung ventilasyon sa loob ng computer mo o sa system unit na ito. Though may pan ito sa loob, pero ang sobrang dumi na, hindi na magiging maayos yung daloy ng hangin sa loob ng computer mo. Try to remember, clean your system hardware, especially the system unit, every six months para maging maayos yung and sobrang tagal ng hardware na sira ito. Pero, nalilimitahan natin na mabigis na pagkasira nito kapag maayos yung ating pag-release. So, to prevent this kind of situation, I will show you a fundamental procedures or step on how disassemble and assemble this computer system. Just keep watching on this video. But before anything else, let's talk about our safety handling procedure when troubleshooting. So, I have a few safety tips. Actually, dalawa lang. First, organize your workstation. Ito yung workstation ko. Kung mapapansin nyo, the system unit and all materials needed lamang ang nasa lamesa. Especially the screwdrivers. Dalawa lang ang magagamit natin dito. The flat and the Phillips head screwdrivers. And also, a small cup na lalagyan ng mga screw. Kaya may magnet dyan para madalian ako sa pagkuha ng maliliit na screw. The magnet is very optional. Next, the cable ties or twist ties para pang tali sa mga wiring sa loob ng system unit. And last, safety tips, ground yourself. Dahil ang katawan natin ay merong positive and negative charges na nakukuha natin through friction sa environment. Para iwas static, I use wood table kasi non-conductor ito. And I have anti-static wrist strap. Did you know that anti-static materials used to prevent electrostatic discharge na maaaring makasira sa mahalagang parts ng system unit mo? If these anti-static materials are not present or available, Pwede kayong gumawa ng any friction sa inyong katawan or gamit ang screwdriver. Kung nasa bahay naman kayo, malaga may sapin kayo sa paa. Any rubber shoes or slipper will do because static electricity is easily generated by friction on tile flooring or fabric. So no further ado, let's fix it! Starting computer disassemble, make sure you have the tools you need. Step 1. Unplugging. The first thing you need to do is to unplug every cable that is plugged into your computer. Step 2. Opening the outer shell or case. Once the screw are removed, you can remove the side panel. On most computers, they just slide off. Inside, in the system unit, you will see the power supply, floppy disk, hard drive, fan, the processor, or the CPU, 
the video card, and the RAM. Those are the essential computer system design. Step 3. Remove all cables from hard disk, floppy disk, and the motherboard. Take note, if you don't have motherboard manual, make it sure you take a screenshot to avoid disconnecting wires. Step 4. Remove the hard disk and the DVD drive. To remove the DVD drive, open the front casing. Don't forget to unplug all wires and connectors from this. Step 5. Memory RAM. To remove the RAM, push down both tops holding the RAM in place, which are located at the both ends of the RAM. Step 6. Removing the CPU fan. Don't forget to remove the four screws. Also remove the other fan inside the system unit. And right after removing the fan, uninstall the CPU. Use the unlocking mechanism to open the CPU socket. Take note, don't touch the chips of the CPU because it is very sensitive. Step 7. Remove the video card. As likely how you remove the RAM. Remove the power supply. Make it sure you already remove or unplug every wire connecting from the power supply. Once everything is unplugged, unscrew the four screw holding the power supply in place on the back of the computer. And last, remove the motherboard. The motherboard has seven screw holding it to the frame, which are indicated by large white circle around them. Remove all them and then lift the motherboard out of the frame. And that's how you disassemble your computer system unit. I changed my working station when I removed all dust inside my system unit. I used small paintbrush and alcohol to remove all dust. Before you start to assemble a system unit, take an inventory of your parts. Do not begin assembling your computer if you don't have everything you need. And take note, don't rush yourself. Step 1. Take back the motherboard first. Before you secure the motherboard onto system unit or case, inspect it carefully for any visible defects. Step 2. The power supply. Step 3. Installing CPU fan and the processors. Also, using the aligned triangular CPU and socket key marks as shown in the video. Lower the lever to lock the CPU into place. You must apply a thermal paste on the top of the processor to assist the heat sink to draw heat away. Step 4. Put back the RAM together with the video card, CD and DVD ROM, and the hard disk. Make it sure you insert them into a proper socket. Step 5. Reconnect all cable wires in their proper place to the Use the motherboard manual or your screenshot. Step 6. Return all the screws. Okay, on this part, I tried to plug in the system unit to see if this still functions. And there you go, as good as new. And lastly, put back the front cover together with the side cover of the power case. 
and that's how you assemble a computer parts onto system unit. Take note, there's no perfect step as long as you know what you are doing, then there's nothing to fear. Finally, we made it and let's call it a day. And I'm very thankful that system unit is still working, hopefully. And for my next video, I will show you how to install an operating system or a OS or a Windows in a desktop computer. And that's for today and thank you for watching. To keep updates on my video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Before we end this video, I want to make sure if you really understand on how to disassemble and assemble a system unit. So I have here a customized game program related to our topic. Okay, let's start. Welcome to Genio, the generation of Henio. So for this kind of assessment, I want you to identify the steps or procedure related to the video related to a random video of disassembling a computer hardware or a system unit. The first video implies to disconnecting a cable wires connected to the motherboard. Next video, the student removed the screw from the back of the case or the tower case to open the system unit. The third random video shows that the motherboard is removing from the case. So this is our last step in disassemble a computer system. For the next video, the student remove the connectors of the disk drive. Next video, they remove the RAM which is our step 7. As, as you can see on the video, they remove the case to get the drive which is our step 3. So along with an installing this drive is an installing the hard drive. Next video, the student remove the pad so they can remove the processor or the CPU. Nine. Remember when you remove the cover case and the screw in the hard drive, you must pull out the hard drive and the floppy disk, which is our step five. Next video show they remove the power supply which is our step 9. The second part of our assessment is same direction on how we answer disassembling a system unit. So the first video show the student install the power supply which is our second step in assembling system unit. Next video the student installed the memory ROM together with hard disk and hard drive which is our step for assembly a system unit for the next video the student put back the cover case together with the slide cover of the system unit which is our step six the first thing you must apply in assembling a system unit is preparing your motherboard when the motherboard installed in the system unit, don't forget to install the CPU and you must apply a thermal phase on the top of it. Also put back the CPU fan and the system fan. For the next video, the student reconnect all wires to the motherboard in their proper place. And the last step in assembling the system unit is put back all screw and slide over. Congratulations, you finished the game. Goodbye.